Hey everybody, Vinny here with Thick Skinned RC, and uh, tonight I am back with the HPI Racing uh, Venture FJ Cruiser, the um, long-awaited follow-up video, right? Uh, sorry for the delay on that, even with the holidays and stuff, the uh, time got away from me, but here we are. And um, so as you can see, um, I have gotten a little dirty. After about a month and a half of crawling or so, I will say that uh, I like it. Um, I'm really liking the truck. Uh, there are some definite things that need to be improved on it. Um, I never even crawled with the stock servo. As a matter of fact, it's right here. Um, I put the battery in the truck. I put the truck on the floor in the shop here and I have this um, rubberized um, It's like the uh, flooring that they use in the gyms and it it didn't really even want to turn the tires very well on that flooring So I immediately took the servo out. I didn't even want to try and mess with it um, That's not too surprising RTR servos typically fairly weak so I wasn't too surprised by that um, so I had the stock Traxxas servo that came with the TRX4 um, the 2075 X so I put that in here um, it's better it's not great but it's better than the HPI one so um, I've been running with that um, but I am definitely upgrading that as well the steering is um, probably one of the weakest points of the truck um, and a lot of that is simply because of the servo. So um, I'm going to reserve my final judgment on that until I put some something of quality in there um, and see how it goes. Um, <clears throat> the uh, tires, the first time I crawled with it, I used the stock tires and uh, I didn't like it. And uh, it was more about the size of the tires than anything else. Um, it had really nothing to do with the grip or um, quality of the tires. It really was about the size. I wasn't having much success. Um, so I put these, uh, these are the Canyon, the Canyon Trails from the um, Traxxas. I put those on there. They're a little bit bigger. I'll show you here. <clears throat> Just a little bit bigger, not much. Um, but for me, <clears throat> I, I liked it in the beginning. So the one thing it forced me to do, you can see I did cut the fender wells out a bit here just to leave some room for the bigger tires. Um, so I ran those for a little while, a few crawls, and um, lately I've been crawling with guys that are a lot better than me, so I've been improving my skills, and I decided, you know what, put the smaller tires back on, embrace the challenge, and so we're going to run with it. Um, now, uh, I mentioned the servo. The motor, uh, really, I, I like it. It's it's tough, powerful. It's been underwater. Um, no problems there. Uh, I did get a little bit of water in the receiver box. So just a word of caution, um, if you really want that box to be waterproof, you're probably going to need to put some silicone on it because uh, out of the box it did get some water. Now, I did put the truck underwater up to the windshield, so maybe I invited the water in there, but... It better safe than sorry. I'd put some uh, I'd put some silicone around it. Um, as far as um, any upgrades, the one thing I'm leaning towards, I gotta say, I kind of want to take this off. I kind of want to take the back tire off. It gets in the way a lot when you're climbing. Where where I do a lot of climbing, there's a lot of limestone ledges, things like that. Um, and I find it getting in the way. Now, that's a shame because it makes the truck look really good. I mean, it's obviously this truck is, the scale aspect of it was one of the selling points, um, but I think it could be an incredible crawler if I took that off. Um, I do want to put some uh, weighted uh, tire bead locks on there or at least get a little bit of weight down low. It doesn't need much. It really does not need much. As it sits, it is pretty well balanced. I'm, I'm liking it. Got some footage to show you. Um, and um, I hope you enjoy it. And as always, thanks for watching. I appreciate the support from the first video. I hope you guys like this one. And uh, always like the video, uh, subscribe to the page. And you can also find us on Facebook, uh, Thick Skinned RC, and on Instagram. So check us out. Thanks a lot.
Yeah, you gotta get back.